anatomy of the ear wherein you can see the first question which of the following pain is not referred to the ear referred pain to the ear pharynx teeth angle of the tmj vestibule of the nose so remember people were asking about mnemonics we will try to go for mnemonics of course if you understand uh, subject you can just easily remember in ent not much of need in mnemonics i try to understand uh, whatever i say you will be remembering 100% so pharynx so let is throat t for t throat t for t teeth t for tmj tmj okay t for tonsil you can say so vestibule of the nose is the hard man out over here okay as you know so ear is innervated by multiple cranial nerves as you could see so most of the cranial nerves in head and neck are innervated towards the useful towards the this ent only okay as you can see 12 cranial nerves are there most of them are supplying the ent so most specialized branch as far as cranial nerves is concerned is ent you can just think like that nobody gave a bit they might give you a bit like that most of the special senses are also concentrated with ent so like balance hearing taste and smell out of the five four are towards the ent okay and other thing is sight vision which is in ophthalmology so as you could see over here so my lobule beautiful stud on my lobule supplied by greater auricular nerve gang gang bajao bang bang you will say this greater auricular nerve so greater auricular nerve at this all region is supplied by greater auricular nerve lesser occipital nerve so this particular second one is supplying by uh, supplied by the lesser occipital nerve next this concha so concha this ear has got two parts like simba concha cavum concha okay simba concha simba concha is at the level of this particular attachment of the crease upper part is simba concha cc simba concha is related to mastoid antrum cc camera for mastoid antrum is simba concha that is mckeevan's triangle so this is a cavum concha cavum concha leads towards the external auditory canal cavum concha leads towards the external auditory canal so this particular part is supplied by the vagus as you could see so your posterior superior part of the canal is supplied by seventh cranial nerve so as you could see the key answer key note for here is this is the vagus like as you could see auricular branch of the vagus which is also called as auricular nerve auricular nerve auricular nerve so don't quarrel among yourself pro ravi subramanian das everybody is there to hear the ent okay this is dr smell bell verbal available for you okay please concentrate on what is going on here no chat mutual chat only for subject or for discussion of anything else ent ent and ent until this few days the ear is supplied by fifth cranial nerve auricular temporal nerve auricle is auricle temporal nerve at this part anterior auricular temporal nerve and also this temporomandibular joint if you give a block over here it is auricular temporal nerve block if you give injection here all of the anterior part of the canal will gets blocked next 10th is auricular branch of the vagus the posterior part is supplied by the 10th including the concha so if you put a drop of water in the concha it will slip into the external auditory canal if you put a drop of water into the concha concha is something like a bowl concha stylish pronunciation is concha they will say concha okay as you go uh, become posh and posh you become concha 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 something like a conch it is like a shell okay so it is supplied by 10th cranial nerve 11th uh, 10th cranial nerve okay pain may be referred to the ear from fifth cranial nerve so fifth cranial nerve like fifth cranial nerve is discovered by side discovered bell as you know smell bell or bell above which bell is one who discovered most commonly about the fifth cranial nerve dental caries so you have teeth pain t for teeth okay t for tongue tongue t for tongue that is because of a lingual nerve and t for tmj t, t for tmj and spinopalatine neuralgia spinopalatine neuralgia tmj disorders that is something called as costan syndrome a problem at this particular tmj temporomandibular joint opening and closing leads to pain in the canal and fullness in the canal costan syndrome we will be seeing forward oral is benign or malignant ulcerative lesions of the oral cavity benign or malignant ulcerative lesions of the oral cavity it's dental like dental caries and uh, molar impaction and dental abscess so you have got ear pain you have to rule out so throat you have to rule out ear you have to rule out the joint you have to rule out the teeth you have to rule out the tongue entire ent and head and neck examination okay for example the ear, the throat is having some lump some throat is having some lump in the hypopharynx region you are having some lump as you are going to see the arches in the coming days so in the arches uh, in the arches we will be seeing the coming uh, coming slides so uh, carrying on carrying on someone is giving me carrying on carrying on okay i am carrying on i am carrying on my whole of the responsibility okay let me carry on so what happens 
arches and uh, we, we will see that uh, the pharynx is also having some supply along with the vagus. So, vagus is something related to the ear, is it or not? I'll not know. So, by way, lump in the throat in leading to pain in the ear, okay, pain in the ear, it can be there. So, patient is having, uh, putting his hand on the ear like this with severe pain with history of dysphagia. So, they want to ask you a clinical question, history of dysphagia sitting outside in the OPD, okay, with the drooling saliva, with the drooling saliva, because there is a collection of saliva in the hypopharynx region because of which uh, the pooling of the saliva in the pyriform fossa, it is drooling outside slowly, you are seeing it, something called as Jackson sign in hypopharyngeal carcinoma and decreased laryngeal cryptus with ear pain, that is typically related to your, so ear pain because of referral, okay. And the patient is having severe tonsillar enlargement and because of the glossopharyngeal nerve, glossopharyngeal, so bed of the tonsil, you are the tonsil and you are sitting, you are sleeping on the bed and you have got a small, you know, you have got a small, you know, as if you have a knife inside your bed, it is poking you like anything, it is causing severe pain, it is leading to tonsillar pain and it is also leading to this glossopharyngeal nerve, as you could see, Jacobson's nerve is glossopharyngeal, Jacobson's nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, medial wall of the middle ear, so all these are related to the preferred pains of the ear. Ninth cranial now, oropharynx, lesions of the tonsil, soft palate and pillars, base of the tongue, like anteriorly it is CT, carda tympani, posteriorly it is GP and general sensation is carried by lingual nerve, general sensation is carried by lingual nerve of the tongue, as you, as you know. Elongated styloid process, eagle syndrome, styalgia, eagle syndrome, styalgia and the tenth cranial now, as you could see, malignant ulcerative lesions in the larynx, laryngopharynx, esophagus, laryngopharynx is nothing but your hypopharynx, esophagus, epiglottid is vellecula. So, anywhere pain in the ENT region, there can be a chance for pain in the ear, okay, C3, C4, cervical spine disorder, C3, C4, a greater auricular nerve, okay, Arnold's nerve, articular, auricular branch is Arnold's nerve, super, that is a good thing, so block Ravi in the comments, okay, this is night time, Ravi is not seen, that is sun is not seen, okay, Chandra is not, Chandra is seen here, okay, Chandra Shekhar myself, so you can uh, just concentrate on me, okay, next, autoacoustic emissions arise from OAE, Auto acoustic emissions, auto acoustic emissions. So, there is something called as universal neonatal hearing screening program. Universal neonatal hearing screening program, by the way, the child is born, you should be having an idea of how to uh, screen the deafness, is it or not. So, you want to do two tests, very important tests like OAE, auto acoustic emissions, auto acoustic emission tests, and then second one is Bera or Basera. Bera or Basera, you want to do two tests called as OAE and BERA, plus or minus you will be putting whether it is pass or not and then you have to do it one week later. So, OAE and BERA, OAE and BERA are the tests which are helpful, of which this OAE is generated from, so there are two ring roads, is it or not, outer ring road and inner ring road for any city like Hyderabad, outer ring road is there, inner ring road is there, and outer ring road, so once the uh, people are having outer ring road, they are lifting their collars, they are doing over action, okay, over action by everybody, this is OAE, over action by everybody is outer hair cells, outer hair cells, like outer ring road, outer hair cells, the hair cells that are present in the cochlea, cochlea has got outer hair cells and inner hair cells, outer hair cells and inner hair cells, so as you could see, inner hair cells are 3000 in number, outer hair cells are nearly 12000 in number, outer hair cells are very sensitive, so both uh, organ of cortex, organ of cortex is as it is representation, the answer here would be uh, outer hair cells as you could see. So, it is like the mechanism of how to do auto acoustic emissions is out of the purview of this discussion, it is an audiologist procedure, you want to do that, you do MSC audiology, so do not worry, just understand this, there is something like a mic kept in the ear like this, and something like attenuator, attenuator 1 and 2, so external artery canal it is fitting just like this snugly, so whenever you are giving a sound. So, outer hair cells vibrate and then in the reverse they give one more sound, small micro sounds which are picked up by this, this particular microphone and then they record the auto acoustic emissions, just remember like that, auto acoustic emissions. So, like um, has made mnemonic with high, okay, yes, we will be doing that, okay, shall us you, okay, nice, you remember that, you know, put and patency for me, okay, Dr. Smellbell, we can put the mnemonics, because these are all done by me, uh, few of them, uh, which are uh, on the spot created, okay, sometimes you might get weird and confused, don't get confused, mnemonic is the one which should not make you forget the bit, you should answer the bit, you should need not remember the mnemonic every time, mnemonic is something which is a, like a guide, which will help you to answer the bits, okay. 
So auto acoustic emissions are the low intensity sounds produced by outer hair cells of a normal cochlea. So normal cochlea outer hair cells O H C O A E write down O H C. So O A E write down O H C. Just try to remember as once again O A E we try to remember like O H C. Auto acoustic emissions outer hair cells. Just as simple as that. Okay, is it or not? Easy to remember. Both O O O as you can remember. Some people are interested in mnemonics. I am trying to tell them. Okay, next. Uh, we are going to the next part. So outer auto acoustic emissions from outer hair cells. Okay, sound produced by the outer hair cells travels to the reverse direction. Outer hair cells, uh, basilar membrane, perilymph, oral oval window, ossicles, tympanic membrane, ear canal. So the sound which we are giving and the sound that is coming from the hair, the hair cells themselves are giving some sound that we are catching. So if they are normal cochlea, we will catch it. 